Barb is probably the easiest class to use as DPS. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do top DPS and you can do this kind of damage, which you'll see at the end of this video. So basically, the rotation is to spam 1 and 2 and keep these two abilities off cooldown. These two abilities will generate in the middle of your screen. It's like a Horde logo from World of Warcraft right here, red and blue. I think skill 1 will generate the red one and skill 2 will generate the blue one and you can spend it on skill 3 which we're gonna explain later in this video. Alright, the first skill is the wild strike with 3 seconds cooldown. It will increase 10 beastliness. There are some talents that will increase your wild strike ability which I'm gonna show you right at the end of this video. For example, this one, your wild strike will increase your attack and speed up to 2%. Alright, here's another talent. Wall Strike deals 5% more damage and grants you one more beastliness. The second ability is X Thunder with 3 seconds cooldown as well. This one you'll gain 22 sanity. So you want to keep the red and blue bar in the middle of your screen up to 60%, which will allow you to use Wrath of Thunder. This is a high damage ability. Strike hard at the target, attack the target 2 times each time dealing damage equals to 95% of your attack, plus 139 and consuming 60 beast, leanness and sanity. Also, there's a talent that will cause the target to bleed when you cast Wrath of Thunder, as you can see here. Alright, there's another ability that you should keep it off cooldown, which is Earthquake. It would deal damage equal to 388% of your attack, plus 562 to the target. Increase your combo and combo damage by 7% for 5 seconds, and gain 40 beastliness and also sanity. So you want to be using this ability every time it's available. As it will increase your combo. The next ability is for group attack. It's a cleaving attack called Cyclone Turmoil. Wheel 2 axis to deal damage equals to 25% of your attack plus 34 to nearby enemies twice. For each target that's hit by this skill, its remaining cooldown is reduced by 1 seconds. So if there are a lot of targets, you want to be spamming this ability as well as using Earthquake. If it's on cooldown, you can use Ability 1 and 2 just to generate your beastliness and also sanity. So if there are more than 2 or 3 targets, this cleave ability will be your priority, otherwise you can use Wrath of Thunder. The next ability is Bloodlust, which is your cooldown ability. You'll unleash your full potential, increasing your attack by 10% plus 38 for 15 seconds, during which beastliness gain from Wild Strike is double and also X Thunder has no cooldown. This ability will be on 2 minutes cooldown. The next ability is Inscribed Stone Skill, which will cause Wall Strike or X Thunder decreases cooldown and gains extra energy within 6 seconds. So you want to pop this ability whenever it's available. It will decrease the cooldown of ability 1 and 2, which means you have to perform all the rotations much faster. The momentum will be much higher now, which you have to keep it up with your rotation. Next, you have movement ability as well, such as the Beast Spring. It will increase your movement speed by 70% for 8 seconds. You also have a leap. You will jump towards the target and then enemies within 3 meter radius will be slowed by 50%, which is awesome. The next one is Thundershock, which will slow enemies as well. At higher level, you can unlock interrupts, which I think is much better if you're doing raids to interrupt those casts. So just to recap, the rotation will be you have to leap inside and charge to the target. So you can do Earthquake to increase your combo and then you want to spam ability 1 and 2 so you can generate that sanity and beastliness once you have 60% of those in the middle of your screen, the blue and red heart icon. You're going to be using the Wrath of Thunder which will bleed the target and cause massive damage. Use your huge cooldowns such as Bloodlust or Inscribed Stone Skill when they're available. And if there are multiple targets, consider using Cyclone Turmoil, which will cleave your targets and keep momentum up, keep your rotation up. So I'll be leaving you guys with the rest of the gameplay so you guys can see the rotation as well as some early talents that you guys can refer to right at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is your fellow adventurer, Kasum. Until next time, peace out.